Starting at that first end cap all the way to down here, they have Halloween decor. Stimulate my mind with some metaphysical fire breathing conversation. When I stroke your energy, I feel elated. No, no, it drives me crazy. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Here on my channel, I discuss divination, astrology, spirituality, and my lifestyle. As you saw from the title, today's lifestyle video is a... When you're not scripting, it's, it's just like, it's like word vomit. <laughs> but basically, today's video is a vlog of me hauling or shopping, exploring at home for Halloween decor. If you didn't know, Halloween is my favorite day of the year next to my birthday, of course. I went shopping at home and this is going to be like a new series on my channel. Me looking for Halloween decor before it's time for Halloween and during Halloween season. I know you're like, Destiny, it's July. Why in the world would you be looking for Halloween decor? And not even that, like why in the world would there be Halloween decor in the stores? But I kid you not, there is. Follow me on Instagram at Manifest by Destiny, and you'll see in my reels all of the Halloween decor that I've discovered for Halloween 2021 so far. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Um, yeah, I'm at at home, the home decor superstore, because I'm going to begin a new series, or I'm introducing a new interest of mine to the channel, which I think you know I love Halloween. But now, for some reason, it's hot. I got to turn the air on. For some reason, they actually are releasing their Halloween goods, Halloween um, decor and everything in the summertime. So technically now it's Halloween in July. It's Halloween in July. And so, yeah, we're at, at home, the superstore. And we're going in there. And um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Manifest by Destiny, I actually have been getting into reels because now my understanding is that social media is no longer about pictures it's all about entertaining people and doing it quickly so yeah i'm gonna um go in here and shoot some reels of the halloween decor that i hope they have because i did not call ahead even though that's like something that people actually do yeah so welcome to my channel i discuss divination astrology spirituality and my lifestyle a lot of times I say my lifestyle as a witch, as a witch of color, as an African-American witch, as a black witch, um, as a glamour witch, as a green witch, as a cosplayer. It just depends on what I'm talking about in terms of my lifestyle. So yeah, subscribe, follow me on Instagram to see all of the reels, the Halloween themed reels. And yeah, stay tuned for what I find.
So as you can see, they have a lot of stuff in here. Um, I went through all the Halloween owls and then the other stuff is kind of just um, fall. I like fall, I'm born in autumn, Scorpio, November baby, but you know, I'm for the spooky stuff. So yeah. I spent a good hour inside of that store and I spent my whole budget inside of that store. But as you can see, it had so many great things. They had like a lunar collection. Ooh, I'm busting out in a sweat like instantly when I turn the heat off. But they had the lunar collection. They had um, Spellbound, no lunar magic collection, Spellbound. I'm gonna put in the B-rolls. I accidentally shot them in reels or like vertical instead of horizontal. That orientation. Come on, man, come on. I'm trying to close the glove compartment, but there's shit in there, okay. Wow, yeah, I need to go back home. During the springtime, cause I haven't been shopping like in some months now, but during the springtime, I was like out every day shopping, getting new stuff from my house. I guess now that we like, I'm in the house and it's like, man, eh. We get what we get when we get it. I'm like, whatever. But now that I know there's Halloween stuff out here, like, how can I control myself? I even, I parked crooked. Like, I'm all over the line in the handicapped spot. I don't know. I'm just besides myself, as they say. But yeah, they had really great things. A lot of things, like one of the planters that I got, it was only one in there. The only planter that I saw. Of course, you can make anything a planter. But I was like, I have to get it. But I think I'm going to debrief when I get home, when I'm comfortable. And actually show you guys what I got. So, sip of water. Okay, so this is my cup, right? It doesn't match. I've had it for like two years. It, it kept me, it held me down through the panorama. But I want something more me. But yeah, I got a Witch's Brew um, double wall vacuum insulated hot or cold cup. And as you know, I'm an Amazon associate. I say that in every video. All of these things that I have, of course, you can get them at, at Home Goods. But I, of course, God, but I, of course, will leave links below in the description box for everything that I discuss if I can find something that's similar to it. But this was $9.99, and this is from the Halloween Spellbound collection. And I'll show you now. Insert the clip that they have different collections. They had like the Spellbound. They had like the Lunar Magic. Um, they had dark decadence. I, what else did they have? Um, I don't know, you'll see them, but I definitely have more of like a goth glam, alternative glam, dark aesthetic, uh, dark academia, dark cottage core type of feel to me. So I definitely um, gravitated more towards that dark decadence. But Spellbound, you know, as a witch, of course, oh, there's dust. As a witch, of course, I gravitate towards anything that's meant for, for me. If it has the word witch on it, I'm most likely going to like it. I decided this year I didn't want to do, like, the orange thing. Of course, I'm inserting clips, so you got to keep up. Inserting a clip now. There's the orange, like, autumn autumnal feel. I don't really like that as much. I feel like for me, like the orange is, it just sticks out. For me, when I think of Halloween, I really like black and like the bone color. I also like green, of course, because green's my favorite color, and purple. I feel like the purple, black, silver, metallic type of, type of look is my Halloween aesthetic. Comment below what's your Halloween aesthetic. Are you a traditional orange, pumpkin orange, um, licorice black type of girl or boy? or them type of person or do you like like this more of a spellbound something more metallic or do you like red and black like what what type of halloween gothic colors are you into next i got some candles from the spellbound collection as well and one was 6.99 the other was 8.99 like these are something that I just couldn't leave behind. 
and they are pillar candles. Yeah, and I think they're black. Under there, do they look black? Either they're black or dark gray. As you can see, they have a serpent or a snake on there. And as you know, I'm Team Slytherin. Team Slytherin. So as I'm decorating my room with all of my black and green, I don't really like gray too much, but black and green, I'm kind of substituting the brown and the bone color in there. I thought these would be cute as decoration. Of course, I'm never going to burn these. Like, never, ever, ever going to burn these. I'm going to take them out of the plastic, though. <laughs> but I like the serpent. Like, these are just, like, so cute. Yeah, so, just really cute, and um, most likely I'll show all of the candles that I saw. They had so many different types of candles, so many, so, so much so that I couldn't choose. I had to put some back because I was going over budget. Next, I have three Bleeding Taper 10-inch candles. These were $2.99 each. Um, last year, I got some Bleeding Taper candles that I have yet to burn because I want to, like, burn them while I'm recording and use it, like, as part of my intro or something. But yeah, these, I think they're supposed to be a femur. A femur, yeah. But they're part of the dark decadence and they're bleeding. So once you like this, it's going to bleed down and this part will still look like a bone. All of these are not for like spell work or any type of crafting. These are specifically for decoration. So next I have spell bottles. And these aren't really from a collection, but if I had to pick, I'd definitely say these are more dark decadent spellbound. Uh, but they're potion bottles, and this is a, this is purple. I have a purple one back there. I wanted a black one, but this is actually purple. They probably didn't have black, or no, I think I thought this was black, so I thought I was getting Slytherin colors. So as you can see, like, that purple is so deep, it's so dark, it fits with the Halloween aesthetic, with the Slytherin aesthetic that I've created. So yeah, I got two of these, $2.99. I have bigger ones that I probably got for cheaper at Goodwill and stuff, but these are brand new, nobody's used them, there's no energy on them, and they're just cute. Like, I've never seen a green one. I wish I would have gotten more of the green because I feel like this is really Slytherin green for you. So lastly, oh, I also got some rugs. I'm sitting on them now, but these are just kind of like a plant mom thing. Uh, I got them because I didn't want to keep getting dirt on my carpet. I feel like if I just touch a plant or if I just think about a plant, dirt falls out of the planter onto the ground. On that note, this is my, as you saw from the thumbnail, this is my favorite find. He doesn't have a name. Oh, he doesn't have a bottom jaw either, but <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. And he was $29.99. He's from the Dark Decadence Collection. Yeah, and he's a planter. So I took my, I think this is a Croatoan, Croatian, something like that. I knew I would need like a wide um, type of plant to put in there. So I'm thinking about getting like a palm, like a ponytail palm tree to put in here because I think it would give him like really or her it would give it really great hair like it's just so cute but this looks good too because that ponytail palm I think it might leave too much space in between what do you think should I keep this plant in here should I put something trailing or should I get a ponytail palm for all my plant moms and plant dads and plant parents in the building so yeah so far that's what I found for Halloween here in these streets. As you know, I live in Charlotte, so I go around Charlotte, I go around the surrounding areas. I'm probably the furthest that I would go, I was gonna say Atlanta, but I wouldn't go to Atlanta for Halloween decorations. I mean, I'd make a day trip out of it, but I wouldn't go strictly for that. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, when you like my videos, it just basically boosts the analytics to show my content to more people so you're helping me out helping me get more subscribers shout out to all of you who have subscribed if you haven't hit the button hit the bell you know what to do and yeah follow me on instagram until next time it's me destiny as always bye everybody Maybe.
Yeah, to stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe breathing conversation.